Nicki Minaj's husband Kenneth Petty faces backlash for using gay slur during TikTok Live. Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, has come under fire after he used a gay slur during a TikTok Live session on Friday evening, prompting a wave of criticism from fans and followers online. The incident occurred as Minaj, 41, was engaging with her audience and sharing a motivational message when Petty, seated behind her, interjected with a comment that many found offensive. Don't you let anybody or anything steal your mother f, King Joy, Minaj encouraged her viewers. In response, Petty smiled and added, that's right, especially little f s or f k boys, a remark that immediately drew the ire of viewers. Screenshots of the live stream quickly circulated on social media, igniting a backlash against both Petty and Minaj. Fans were swift to express their disappointment and anger, with one user on X, formerly Twitter, stating that Petty had, just insulted her entire male fan base. Others echoed similar sentiments, highlighting the contradiction of Minaj's supportive public persona compared to her husband's remarks. One comment equipped, it's giving the popular girl who says she's for the gays but lets her boyfriend say slurs while she laughs. Another pointed out that a significant portion of Minaj's fanbase consists of gay men, making the comment particularly hurtful. The backlash intensified as many took the opportunity to criticize Petty's troubled past, which includes a history of legal issues and serious criminal convictions. One user remarked, he ain't complaining when the same gays are paying his court fees and funding his wife's lifestyle, referencing Petty's ongoing legal troubles, including a recent probation violation. In September 2023, he was ordered to serve 120 days of home detention after threatening rapper Offset on social media, a violation stemming from his probation for failing to register as a sex offender after marrying Minaj in 2019. Petty's past is marred by serious allegations, including a conviction for attempted rape in 1995 and a manslaughter conviction in 2002, for which he served seven years of a 10-year sentence. Despite these controversies, Minaj has consistently defended Petty against public scrutiny, claiming that he was only 15 years old when he began dating the victim of his first conviction. This incident marks the second time Petty has made a derogatory comment during a live session involving Minaj, with fans expressing disappointment that she did not correct him. The fallout from this comment raises questions about Minaj's stance on LGBTQ plus issues, especially given her substantial support from gay fans throughout her career. Representatives for Minaj did not respond to requests for comment regarding the incident, but the rapper has previously spoken about her relationship with Petty, describing an ease and connection that has developed over their long acquaintance. The couple attended high school together at New York City's LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts and reconnected in 2018. In a December 2023 interview with Vogue, Minaj expressed her affection for Petty, stating, We make each other laugh. We're silly. And we're always reminiscing about some old story. Minaj and Petty welcomed their first child, a son nicknamed Papa Bear, in September 2020. Despite the recent controversy, Minaj has often shared glimpses of their family life, showcasing their bond and shared experiences as parents. As the backlash continues, many are calling for accountability and reflection on the language used in public spaces, particularly by public figures whose words can significantly impact their followers. The incident has reignited discussions regarding sensitivity and respect within the LGBTQ community and the importance of standing up against derogatory language, especially from those in positions of influence. Moving forward, it will be crucial for both Minaj and Petty to address the fallout from this incident and consider the implications of their words and actions on their diverse fan base. As the couple navigates their public and private lives, they will need to reconcile their personal dynamics with the expectations and values of their audience.